Good morning. Temperatures will be much higher than yesterday. Readings will be even hovering three to four degrees higher than the seasonal averages, so we can dress lighter than the past couple of days. However, the air quality will be poor all day for most of the central region. So those with the respiratory problems, you'll need to have a face mask handy all day. And those of us in the capital area will need to avoid being outdoors too long due to that toxic smog despite much milder afternoon highs at a high of 6 degrees Celsius here in the capital, while Daegu and Busan will make it to 10 and 12 degrees respectively. Snow is in the forecast on a Saturday afternoon into Sunday dawn. Seoul and its surrounding regions could see up to 8 centimeters of heavy snow fall. So those of you planning some New Year's holiday travel, you need to double check the weather forecast. With that, let's take a look at the international weather for viewers around the world. Well, we'll have higher than average temperatures along with toxic smog in South Korea. Most cities in North Korea will also have higher temperatures under mostly sunny skies. In fact, the rest of Asia will have mostly sunny skies with highs varying from the mid-single digits to the 30s. Meanwhile, Melbourne will have a wet Friday, while Sydney will be under mostly sunny skies, but it's going to be a the opposite story for the New Year's Eve weekend. Heading to North America in Chicago, over 80 flights were cancelled at Midway International Airport on Thursday morning as temperatures stayed below freezing, and it's going to be another freezing day in Chicago. And as for South America, major cities on the map will have a repeat of Thursday's weather conditions. Taking you to Europe, temperatures will be on the up in London, but a band of rain will move through with temperatures at 8 degrees Celsius. Lastly, to Africa, Cape Town will have a cloudy Friday at a high of 28 degrees. And that's all the weather update for now.